Hello everyone and welcome back to more Isaac. Today we're going to be checking out two of the items from the Samuel character mod. This is the Spirits. We've got Spirit of Anger and Spirit of Acceptance. Two pretty good items here. So with the Spirit of Acceptance, basically it's going to give us permanent Curse of the Blind. But each time we grab a pedestal, there's a 50% chance for an additional one to spawn. Which is pretty amazing. And then for Spirit of Anger, we gain a small damage up every time certain actions occur. Like a quality zero item spawning or slot machines or crane games not paying out or a beggar takes all of our money without paying out or if we bomb secret rooms sort of thing there's, there's a bunch of basically whenever we fail whenever we fail the game has our back we also get an item right off the bat here and we got sculpting clay which is a really really fun item um oh there's a button there that i didn't see oh my god so we gained some damage there for failing on a button press uh, so that's pretty interesting already oh i think it was failing on picking up one of these coins actually wasn't it so yeah, there you go. Look, we got uh, a bit more damage there. So it's, it's very minute amount of damage, which is why I decided to pair it with Spirit of Acceptance. Uh, and as you can see, I am playing as good old Samuel. Uh, not Samuel. That's the character mod that we got the items from. Playing as good old Tainted Samson. Because I feel like I don't really play the Tainted characters all that much. And it's a bit of a shame. I really like the, uh, the Tainted characters quite a lot. Um, and I want to sort of bring them into these playthroughs a little more often. Also, I have a mod now that makes the fires do a little animation and sound effect when they fire, which is kind of nice. Yeah, as for the sculpting clay that we just picked up, by the way, if any of you haven't seen that before, it's real good. Basically, we can duplicate an item. Um, the only problem with that being that we can't know what we're going to get. So we get, we can have two key bums. Yay! <laughs> oh, lovely. You can only use it once per floor. Um, and obviously, key bum... Not the most exciting of options to, to grab here, but eh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, as for a question of the day today, what's an item that you would 100% um, rework if you could? Like, and I, I don't just mean buff, I mean as in like, you'd basically just make it do something entirely different. It could be a modded item as well, if you've got an, a modded item that you really think could be better or could be changed to, to be tweaked or whatever. But yeah, at the minute, Keybums, I'm not giving you the opportunity. I'm not giving you the chance to uh, take my keys. Maybe later in life, I will give you the opportunity. But for now, you'll just be my little friends that stick by my side through thick and thin and potentially don't help me out at all throughout the entire run. <laughs> we'll give you the opportunity to help, but... I have a feeling you're going to do everything in your power to not help, aren't you? Good, good. Do like playing a Senate Samson here. And we didn't get second item, but growth hormones, pretty good. I would have much rather have uh, grabbed growth hormones. It is interesting to note that uh, growth hormones there... I, was was that a question mark item? I, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't paying f full enough attention to realise if that was a question mark item or not. Which isn't, isn't very good of me, to be honest. Um, but yeah, Curse of the Blind is going to be permanent for us. Uh, so the, the multiple options here aren't going to be great. But we will end up spawning some extra items here and there. Right, let's make sure these guys don't get us. I'd like to keep my devil deal alive if I can, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I said that, I kind of had a feeling in this room it wasn't going to happen. But hey her. We live and we learn. We try our best. But yeah, having a bit of extra damage here from the first floor is really, really nice. My key friends, you're not getting anything from me. Um, but yeah, for, for me, one item that I really want to see a rework of, um, that I will be going into more detail with eventually, is, uh, is, uh, is it called Black Powder? The one that lets you put the powder on the floor? We did get duplicate items here, so we can take the duplicates. In fact, I think what we can do is we can pick it up and then duplicate so like, ah oh no, we can't do that. I was maybe I was thinking maybe we could use Sculpts and Clear while holding the item above our head, but you can't do that. We've got this Shamrock here, which I, I'm unsure what it does. I'll try and look after this room. Right, we're going to get uh, our Rage Mode very shortly here. Let's get ready for that. It's honestly not a great room to have the Rage Mode on, to be honest. It's not helping all that much, but I don't know, let us get through that a little bit quicker. Ah, oh, really? Uh, ferryman? I could I could be definitely tempted by a ferryman. Um, let, let's give it a go, shall we? We've not really got the items for it right now. Let's see what the shamrock does as well. Grant surprise upon defeating a boss without being hit. 
Okay, that's potentially pretty good. Um, I wonder what that prize could be. It might end up being something pretty good for us. I'm hoping it'd be um, like an eternal heart or something like that. But honestly, I have no idea. Okay, this is going to be rough keeping this ghosty alive, to be honest. Especially with the way these bats behave. And especially these guys being buffed to uh, have different attack patterns now. Once we get our rage mode activated, the things might get a little easier for us. Little crater boy is kind of okay. Ooh, a golden bomb is is honestly worth the ten the ten that we spent on it alone. Yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew this room was going to be impossible to keep him alive. So we, we lost out on our item here, unfortunately. But I, I had the feeling that was going to happen. Right, just, just get our bomb in there. Really, that didn't kill the portal? Oh, dude, this is... Just bomb the portal. It's always really annoying that the portal can spawn between, like, one and five enemies. There you go. At least we got golden bombs to help us out here. You little tyke. Got him. Oh, man, that's so satisfying. Get out of here. Into the next one really quick while we've got the rage mode activated. Really? Okay, that, that doesn't... Yeah, that doesn't bode well, does it? Kind of an evil room for keeping the ghosty alive here. I do not like it, but we managed to do it. Sadly, we were one off been able to get an extra item out of this. But honestly, as I said, I think Golden Bombs is reward enough. And we did get an item here. Binky. Don't mind Binky at all. Should have duplicated that, really. Right, away we go. Really shouldn't have got in that while Explosive Diary was going off there, but... Ah, hey her. Hey her. So. Bombing things. Secret room. So actually, one thing that's interesting is it said that we'd gain a damage up, there you go, for bombing a valid secret room um, location when it's not a secret room. So actually, golden bombs give us a really good opportunity to get a lot and a lot of um, additional potential damage here. Because we can just bomb any potentially valid secret room location and it will give us extra damage. I don't know if these will count as valid. No, they won't. I didn't think they would. But it allows us to basically check every secret room location, and even the ones that aren't successful will still get stuff from. Ah, oh, of course you went and took that straight away, you little goobers. This is good though, I like that. Lots of extra money to play around with, don't mind if I diddly do. Oh, a luck penny out of that guy as well. Crack that open. And yeah, I'm just going to quickly bomb some of these walls here and just see if we can get any more damage ups. Thank you. Oh, there's a leech. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, This is some good stuff here. We get all of our keys back. I, By the way, I do have a mod on that reworks some vanilla items. And one of the reworks... Uh, that it does, as you probably have already noticed, is key bums have like a second delay before they try and snatch your keys. So they won't immediately beeline it for your keys anymore, which obviously makes them way more, like, viable. Because, like, one of the reasons you don't want to take them, typically, is that they're just going to snatch your keys up before you can get to them if you want them. But now, they'll actually give you the opportunity to grab it first. I'll just buy that and see what it got. I've got blanket, nice. And, ah, oh, I didn't want to buy that, but I'm actually not, <laughs> I'm not too displeased about it. I got a hero font card, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, thank you, game. It's not, uh, not too bad of you at all. So it seems that valid second secret room locations don't count. It's only valid first secret room locations that count towards giving you the damage up. Let's quickly get in here and use this while we can. Okay, that was that was 
a speedy kill on that guy. And we did get our rewards. We'll duplicate that and see what we get. We got Cracker Jacks. Ooh, baby. Thank God I duplicated. I got an amazing trinket there. I like it. And we got enough to go and buy another shop item. So I think I'm going to do that. Dude, blessed Penny. You're really good. But I, I'm much preferring the Nurse Goblin that I've got going on right now. We'll buy that, whatever that is. Mum's box. Unfortunately, not quite as good. But so far, so good. We've managed to take advantage of the damage ups coming our way. Um, we've managed to make, take, take a lot of advantage, to be honest, of this run. I could play Sack Room, but I don't want to lose my Eternal Heart, really. Or my Soul Hearts, to be honest. Right, let's keep on moving down. Here we are. And as you can see, we got a Sculpting Clear back to utilize when we want to. I really hope we can duplicate a um, damage item at some point. But you can see the potential for Spirit of Acceptance. Obviously, you've got to get lucky. Like, you, you know, the 50% chance to spawn an additional item, it is only 50%. That could work against you and not be in your favor a lot of the time. And in fact, so far this run, we've actually gotten fairly unlucky. Um, we've got less than a 50% success rate so far. Um, here, maybe? Yeah, had a feeling. Ooh, Hello. So we actually got a lot of red rooms here. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, one second. Let me just pause real quick. Okay, we are good. Yeah, we got these little things here that we can open and just open up a red room shortcut for us. This one lets us get into the uh, boss trap room, which is really nice. You need to chill, my guy. Lovely. Ooh, we got one of the little metallic hearts here. We did get this. Let's duplicate, see what we get. We got star. I don't know what the star fruit thing does, actually. Star tree. HP up, shot speed up. Roid Rage. We have a lot of red hearts right now. We definitely want to be going for a devil deal if we can get in one. And Nurse Goblin shots are doing some great damage right now. Good, good. Can we get a bit of rage mode in this next boss? Only a little bit. Ah, damn, this guy jumps. I forgot about that. My iframes just saved me from a second hit there, which is rather nice. Okay. Nice. So we got a free red room there. We can go back over and we can grab another free red room via this. I should probably check out these first, the attached ones. Oh, ah, I missed that heart. My bad. Sadly, we did not get a thingy room yet. An actual ultra secret room. But we've got one more room to potentially try and get one. We'll see. I want that grey heart. I'm so bad at grabbing that in time. Lovely. Bunch of ghosties. Okay. One last chance here to grab ourselves an ultra secret room. Hey, we got it. We got it. Okay, you can be a little annoying, my guy. But you're not too bad. And, oh, we got some bucket heads. I love these enemies. They're so cool, they, like, pop up after you think the room's finished. They sneak up on you. So in here, we didn't get a duplicated item, but we did get the red bag, which I've not seen before. Chance to drop red pickups after clearing a room. Um, dice shard, red pills, cracked keys... Throwable bombs can spawn red poop. Okay, so it's got a bit of downside, a bit of upside. I think that's a pretty cool concept for a red item. I'm, I'm imagining that's an ultra secret room only pool item. Again, let's try and get a little bit of rage mode on the boss if we can. There you go. Lovely stuff. Bunch of luck pennies, I like that. White Rose. And we got ourselves Death List, and we got an additional item there. We got a Zazel's Rage. Nice. And we got an additional item there as well. We got the Astronova. And we got ourselves the Arkham Fleur. The, uh, the Fleur item is um, on, upon killing enemy, you have a chance to get a um, Devil item that only lasts for 60 seconds. I like the idea behind that. Oh, we got a Dice Shard out of this room. Um, 
if we can get back into our devil deal, we can re-roll, actually. Let's just quickly check if it's still open. Sadly, it is not. Dice Shard's not going to be all that useful unless we find actives, really. Otherwise, we're not going to get much use out of that. But that was a good devil deal, though. That was a really good devil deal. We need to be a bit more on it with Death's List and paying attention to that. Teleports us to a black market. That's actually really good for us right now. There you go. We've got Death's List proc in there. We've got duplicated items here. Milk Teeth is a... It's, it's an item. It's an item. Oh, Tough Love would have been really good. Especially considering combined with the, the, the actual Teeth shot. Milk Teeth is a pretty interesting item. Okay. I think we want to go here. We'll have to lose our Dice Shard to do this, but I think it's worthwhile. Basically, now we've got a, a specific range at which we want to be attacking enemies. Dude, can you stop using bombs to block me from hitting you? Please. You're very much frustrating me. We got this. So in this scenario, we should come back to this with a dice shard. And utilize that. Make the most out of what we have. I don't know if re-rolling an item can trigger Spirit of Acceptance again. Probably not, right? We got some damage ups out of it, though. We got some items we didn't want, but we got some damage ups out of it because they were lower tier than the active we are currently holding. Now we go to the black market. And we'll just buy up everything, I think. Moving box. Not ideal. Dude, we're getting so lucky with our duplicates here. <laughs> Dad's wallet. Little baggy. Little baggy's obviously not great for us here. Options. We just get options removed from us and it gives us a new item. Got the matchstick. We got Greg the Egg. That would have been good to get earlier on, the credit card. I'll admit. It would have been good to get earlier on. A yeah, little baggy, not the best for us here. And there's a bunch of actives that I would have loved to have re-rolled, but we couldn't hold both. Um... I guess technically, I can do this and then bring all this to the next floor with me, and maybe re-roll it on the next floor. Moving box gives us that ability. Oh my god damn. I was not expecting such insanity. Oh, this milk teeth item's gonna be wild. <laughs> do you wanna poop out your kid? Ow. So yeah, we just pop that out, and then, there you go, get this back. Although it didn't recharge, ugh, oh, I was kind of hoping it would, but live and you learn, I guess. But yeah, it, it, just in case our red bag gives us another dice shard, now we have those items to actually re-roll. Which I think is ideal. Is that another luck penny? Damn, dude. So many luck pennies so far. I love the fact that when I swing, it still shoots out the shots. Got a red room there. We got a red pill. Temporary 5.4 damage. It fades slowly. Resets damage to KO with an additional use. Apply two layers of wavy cap. Um, horse pill has doubled the effect. Oh, that doesn't sound super nice, to be honest. I will check out this red room. Rerolls all pickups and trinkets on the entire floor. Um, yeah. Why not? Dude. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you, Greg the Egg, for routinely pooting stuff out for me. You've given me lots of pennies. Wow, plus one damage from Death's List there. And we got false PhD here. Not bad, not bad. Right. Go straight for the boss here, because we'll get our rage mode very quickly.
Die, boy. More luck pennies, dude. This is wild. <laughs> Old bib. Okay, we got some good items right here. We got ourselves a cracked key. We got ourselves that again. Oh, man, do I love that. We got ourselves a spin down. Okay, spin down could do some stuff for us right here. Right, let's quickly go back. Let's quickly go back. Dude, as if we have plus eight luck. I'm so annoyed that we didn't get tough love. That would have been so good right now, I think. <laughs> right, so spin down all of these and just see what we get. Damn it, another active. Bottle of water allows us to gulp our trinket. Rather nice. And the waffle is pretty good, if I remember correctly. Um, I have Brimstone now? Does anyone know where Brimstone came from? Um, Waffle. Killing a champion gives us random stats. Old Bib. Taking damage is a chance to make Isaac spit up random food from his inventory. Chance scales will look. Well, that's good. But yeah, I, I, I have Brimstone now. I'm not entirely sure why. Oh, I got it as one of my items from killing enemies, didn't I? That makes more sense. That makes more sense. Right. Let's keep moving our way back. I want to go to our shop and item room, which I think are both over this way. It's because it doesn't appear in my item list. I was very confused, but we do have an item that gives us temporary Devil Deal items. So I'm assuming that is why. It's also really cool with Milk Teeth, by the way. Ah, oh, how dare you. They did give us some damage up for this, though, at least. Yeah, there we go. We lost Brimstone there. Bit of Steam Sale. Thank you. Ow. And Cracked Key, where are we going to use you? Ooh, we got another Golden Bomb here, baby. Right, we've got to take advantage of this while we have it. Cracked Key, oh, there you go, baby. That is what we're looking for. And it duplicated as well, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> C-section, baby. We got IV bag, we don't want that. What does this do? Oh, that was just IV bag. <laughs> I already have IV bag in the room. Got our health up there. We got easy access to this room, which it also duplicated for us meat plus stem cells. Got a lot more red hearts to work with once again. Oh god, the electric here. I forget how crazy this is. Okay, we're good. <laughs> the zippity zap boy. My goodness. This 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 floor has been pretty insane. Tears. Give me that tears up as well, why not? Right, at the minute, I'm just trying to get bonus damage ups where I can. And also get, like, an army of locusts to take to the next floor with me, because why wouldn't I? How are none of these valid secret room locations? Be real with me, game. How, how am I not getting the damage bonus for any of these? This one has to be, right? Okay, apparently I just can't get any more damage up here. But, we have C-section. Oh, wait. C-section milk teeth is, um... Is really, really bad. <laughs> it's an anti-synergy. 
So I guess we'll be removing milk teeth at some point. Because that's just not fun. <laughs> Basically, we've just lowered our fire rate for literally no reason. That's all we've done here. Which I think just isn't very fun. I'll see how it plays against enemies. It, it might be that the tiers fired afterwards are also C-section tiers. I'm not sure. We will find out. Oh my god, I forgot about the brimstone as well. And what we got here? I'll take it. Is that another luck penny? Oh my god. This is too much luck game. There's another luck penny! What is going on? Right. Let's use that swingy swingy for a little bit here. We got a little horn briefly there. Yeah, I need to see if my C-section actually works. It's kind of hard to tell right now. There's just too much other stuff going on. Some more damage up there, lovely. I need to get rid of all these locusts before I can actually tell. I'll just kind of wait for them to do their thing. My god, I love that. That brimstone is something to behold. Hey, we got a dice shard here. And that's a perfect usage for it. Dude, we have so many red hearts. <laughs> What's going on with all the red hearts? It's incomprehensible. Right, through here. Yeah, it does seem that C-section just doesn't work with the milk teeth at all. Like, it gives us herming, but, like, remove milk teeth. It's a bit of a shame, but I think people would, would rather the C-section work, right? <laughs> you can't be getting C-section and they're not doing anything. That's just, that's just plain poo-poo. Okay, everything got re-rolled in here for some reason. We got false PhD here as well again. Seems to be coming back to us fairly often. I like it. Okay. We're, we're, we're zooming at this point. We can we can get out of here. Tears down. Tears down for a damage up, baby. Although, will I even keep that damage up? That might have been a bad idea. Secret room. Oh, we've already been in that secret room. Okay. Ah, the milk teeth brimstone, though. I miss that. Ooh, but firing a C-section baby off that does that is pretty cool. We've not been to our item room yet, have we? Oh, my God. Time gal? So, time gal is basically... It'll show us what reward we get if we manage to finish the room in the allocated amount of time. I think Time Girl's one of those items from Deliverance that never really got updated because 19 seconds to finish a room even with low damage is like super achievable. I mean, the rewards you get aren't amazing or anything, so I kind of get it. But at the same time, it's like five seconds would probably be more appropriate. Like 18 seconds to beat this room, even with base tiers. I think I could do that in 18 seconds. I have so much money to work with right now, but nothing to spend it on. Is the shop going to have a reroll machine? That is the question. I like having the nose goblin shots and the C-section babies because they just like stick. That shouldn't be too hard. There you go. Go shop finally. After Item room finally even. There's so much going on. No duplicate item. How dare you. 
little old leprosy. Also, Dirty Mind. Can we talk about how crazy Dirty Mind is for us right now? Rainbow Heart. Let's just open that chest. Oh, look. It's another Luck Penny. Honestly, what is happening? Honestly, this is pretty good. Extension cable. Oh, this is an XL floor. I didn't even notice. Frail Fly. And Communion. Sadly. Did give us a damage up there. Only a small one, but... It's, it's a Constellation Prize. That's kind of what Spirit of Anger is all about. It's Constellation Prizes, so... I don't mind. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Do you know, I just absolutely shat a brick then. Because I looked over and realised that it says my... On, on my, on my like, tab, if I go over to my second monitor, it says that OBS is paused. But in the actual application, it says it's recording. So I'm hoping to God that this is actually recording, but... I honestly can't be sure. Okay. Well, extension cable is really good for us right now. This is this is going wild. I just tried to tab out and click it, and it didn't change anything. So, I'm gonna hope it's okay. But I'm not entirely sure. No, oh, thank you, thank you for that. You can see how these two items kind of spiral out of control pretty quickly. I feel like Spirit of Anger hasn't really given us all that much, but Spirit of Acceptance has given us quite a bit to go on. Dude, 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 dude. How many luck pennies do you want to spawn? This, this item that rewards you for killing bosses is ludicrous. We also got Sleepyhead, which I don't think I've had in a long time. Some of our tiers are stars now and give Solomons. This is too much luck upgrades. I'm on plus 19 luck. Like, even if we didn't count the item, the naturally spawning lucky pennies we've had this run have been amazing. Wow. Okay, so that was absolute insanity. So if you didn't understand what just happened there... Let me break it down for you. I have an item... That, <laughs> that's actually insane. So, I have an item that has a chance on kill to give me a devil item for 60 seconds. The item it gave me was Blood Earth. But then I also have Burza, which gives you a chance on hit to spawn a Rainbow Poop. So, on being hit by Blood Earth, it counted each individual hit as a chance to spawn a Rainbow Poop, and so I had a high chance to spawn one. Immediately spawned one, but then we also have another item where, on hit, we have a chance to spawn our food items that are in our inventory, and so it gave us the tea and the breakfast item. The midnight snack. So, <laughs> just... That's in a bizarre turn of events, let's be honest. That's a bizarre turn of events. Not the easiest to keep track of. I like seeing a star fly around with a club in its hand. That's funny. So yeah, Blood Earth is something we really don't want. Blood Earth showing up for us could could lead to our demise pretty pretty swiftly. Now, I could gamble here and try and get another uh, thingy poop. Rainbow poop. Do you know there's a lot of red hearts here? Let's let's go for it. One. Two. Oh, dude. Three. So this item that spawns breakfast items. Really, really good for us right now. Oh, my God. Because we've got such high luck. The chance of it spawning an item for us are really, really high. But it seems that we don't get an additional copy of the item. We just get to re-pick it back up. It just drops it on the floor and allows us to pick it up again. Because we keep regaining Sleepyhead. Well then, that was intriguing. 
Okay, we just lost Blood Earth, finally. Oh, dude, we had a D6 here the whole time. I should have been playing around with that. Damn it. Okay, I had loads of items on the floor that I could have re-rolled, but for another time. I didn't realize we had a dice shard lying about. We could have re-rolled all those breakfast items. But that was an interesting turn of events, definitely. Technically, we could actually use it as a D20 on that room still, which I think is actually kind of worthwhile. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yes. See what we get. Maybe we'll get a luck penny. My god. Broken run is broken. Who'd have thought? The 19 luck is doing it for us. We do have Mega Satan to fight now as well, which I think is something we'll definitely be doing. Okay. I guess I'll do that. I'm gonna say, I can't see there'd be much in the secret rooms that would help us, but I might as well check. Imp Soda. That's actually really good with the amount of luck we have, so see how that goes. Hello, good sir. More luck pennies, perhaps? Hey, there you go. Mr. Dolly. Flat damage is really good here. Wooden spoon. Vanilla wafer. We're good to go. Damn, this 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 run really got away from us, didn't it? This run really got away from us. I've got a really good idea for the thumbnail for this uh, this video as well, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it pays off. You guys will hear me talking about it now, and we'll see if it's actually plausible by you guys telling me, <laughs> you guys seeing the thumbnail and knowing if it worked. Basically, what I want to do is I want to have tainted Samson in the middle. With like a little surprise look on his face and have like, do you know like the angel and the devil sitting on each shoulder? I think that'd look kind of cool. I need to die, good sir. Thank you. Oh my god. It's so, okay though. We got a health item back. The health, like gaining the health item back is really crazy because they, they heal you for like two hearts whenever you pick them up. So basically, upon taking damage, I can regain one of my items that allows me to heal me straight back to full. I think that's kind of wild. But because of this, like, d get gaining devil items thing, which I don't know if it's, if it's luck based or not, but gaining devil items and kill, I've just got a ton of item effects right now that I just don't recognize. Conjoined is pretty good for us here. You know what I did recently? I recently watched the film Cars, the Pixar animated film. That film is amazing. <laughs> the film is so good. I went back and watched it like, like last. Like, it was it wasn't even a week ago. I don't think. It's just like I, basically I learned that my girlfriend had never seen it. I say I keep saying girlfriend. My fiance had never seen it. Um, and like I was like, how are you 27 and you've never seen Cars? Come on now. <laughs> so we watched Cars. It's a really good film. And then we're gonna watch Cars 2, which is just terrible. <laughs> but it's gonna be funny to watch and see her reaction to it. Okay. You have been bested, good fella. Is that more luck pennies I hear? Right, I'll duplicate this, see what it is. The pact. I'll double take the pact, why not? We get heartbreak, which isn't ideal. Oh, but we have that item that allows us to pay broken hearts for devil deal items, so we managed to get rid of one of them. That's good at least. Right, we are good to go. I, I could have just used my credit card, but oh well. Thank you for the black heart. We actually have space for black hearts now. Right. This is just a beeline to the end. Okay, we got a theme with uh, with 22.4 luck. It's going to go off. 
A thing is uh is going pretty wild. Thank you, my midnight snack. I really like the idea of the item. I do wonder, like, what the luck thresholds are for it. Like, at, at, at say three luck, which is much more reasonable for an average run, what are the chances that you're gonna end up getting what you want? Ooh, I love this item. More luck, thank you. Why does it give so many luck pennies? Oh man, this item's so broken. Oh, we just got Furton. Furton plus rubber cement. This is gonna be a little wacky, a little weird. And prank cookie. Okay, what, what's what's gonna go down here? I'm just gonna go straight in here and uh, try this guy out. See how this goes. Should kill him pretty quick, I think. There's a bunch of C-sections doing stuff, so... I imagine it'll all come to fruition pretty quickly. There's a bunch of hovering, floating burns about. Don't mind that. I can hear them all swinging rapidly. Devil's Dagger, thank you. Why are you not dying? Oh, they're raged. Prank Cookie's screwing me over right now. Oh my god. Gasoline? Why not add that to the fire? You can see the game progressively just getting more and more laggy. Oh my god. The visuals are starting to degrade. <laughs> That's when, you know, things are going wrong. Ooh, that's a lot of gems. I want all those gems. Right. <laughs> Minus, we'll take him along for the ride, why not? Come on, guy, you know, you know it's over. I don't even have to be near him anymore. Well, like, in perpetual rage, though, which is nice. <laughs> I just... The symphony of swings. But yeah, again, lossless scaling. Making this way more playable. Visually, a little, uh... A little strange, but playable. Far, far more. 19 frames per second would normally be just awful to watch. It's a bit slower, but it's way more watchable. Oh my god, it's getting glitchy. But, as you can see, we have killed him in a, a record pace here. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a lot of fun. A pretty cool showcase. I do like the spirit. Oh, hello heart. Give me that back. Thank you for midnight snack once again. Look at him go. Just let him die. He's already dead. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.